Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number five, I believe. Let me just uh, double check that real quick. Make sure. Yes. So this is uh, war number five. And we're going up against an alliance called Marvel Now. And we are back down to tier three, which is nice because that means unless they banned Corvus, he is not globally banned, so we get to use him. So let's see who they banned. Hercules, Hulkling, oh, and Magneto, really? Man, people are learning, aren't they? But the only globally banned uh, champion is uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. So we get to use Corvus. Uh, as you can see, uh, they've jumped on in. They're like 40% done already. Uh, it's the weekend, so yeah. Oh. Magneto is perfect for that uh, fight right there, but that's okay. We got somebody else for that. All right, so let's see. We've got Cassie. I don't fight her too often. But, okay. Cassie... Let me see, is she Let's see Defender? Oh yeah. But why why won't they put their tags? Uh, it make it so much easier because I want to see if I'll get a, a charge from her if I use Corvus, because of course I'm bringing Corvus in here. All right, I'll look that up later. I, I, I don't know if she's an Avenger, a new Avenger, whatever. Um, but we'll see. Then we've got Nimrod. And Corvus can do that fight. Hmm trying to think do i want to use corvus for that or not maybe and then we've got future ant-man now that one can be an issue corvus is not going to do well against this future ant-man tell you that right now um So I'm thinking Gladiator. Gladiator. Um, yeah, Gladiator possibly for, let's see, for this one. And maybe the next one? No, Corvus can do that, Guardian. So Corvus... Proxima, of course, comes with him, and uh, maybe Guardian. I think that will work. And depending on who he has me assigned to, I think I saw him assign me this uh, Penny Parker. And that is going to be Corvus. All right. So, Corvus, Proxima, and Gladiator. Unless uh, I see a different option. But I'm thinking Gladiator is going to be good for this. All right. Let's get on with the fighting.
All right, so I'm going in with an all-cosmic team, Gladiator, Proxima Midnight, and Corvus, because we're back down at Tier 3. They did not ban Corvus, and he is not globally banned. So this first fight, I was trying, I was thinking to get the um, True Strike up nice and early. Okay, for you guys that don't know, when Corvus has Proxima Midnight on the team, if he can knock them down with a special or a heavy attack after they've done an auto block or an evade, he gets a true strike and they can no longer auto block or evade. So with this particular meta, there's a couple of ways to deal with the defenders that are House of Mirrors. One is to go in with a hashtag clarity champion. And the other is to go in with a champion that has true strike or can get true strike. Okay. So now I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, um, let's wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cause I believe she has uh, an evade and you can see she also has the auto block as well. And I was like, I could do that, but I don't fight Cassie a lot, so I wasn't really that confident. But you can see here, uh, Gladiator, uh, see, I always do that. When I try to play passively and back off and get some space, they pounce on me. I just, oh man, I can't tell you how many times that's happened. If you watch The Last War, it happened there too. It's a habit I really need to break, okay? You know, I'm trying to, you know, gain some distance so I can kind of slow it down a little bit. And they're like, oh no, we ain't slowing it down. And I'm like, oh, okay. really? Now, this one here, I thought about going in with a uh, Gladiator. And I'm like, well, Gladiator can stop his armor up. So Gladiator can do it. You know, um, I'm really starting to warm up a lot to Gladiator. You know, I, I see how well he does in certain fights and everything. I started using him for, you know, like Red Skull on that node and... Then I started seeing what he could do, you know, against champs that, you know, gain armor ups. And so I'm like, all right, this should work. This should work. All right. So he has no armor. And because he has no armor, I don't have to worry about um, his, uh, uh, the node. But here's the problem. Power lock. That kind of caught me. The reason that he got hit right there is because Gladiator is power burn, I think, or drain immune, but he's not power lock immune. And so here I am, I'm like, ugh. And I'm recovering and we got him. But I could have done that fight a lot better because it caught me by surprise. You know, I went, got my special two, then I went to fire my special, I was power lock, and I got hit. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right, he's not immune to power lock. So, I could have definitely done that fight way better than that. But I lost all that health, but we still won the fight. It's all that matters. I'll have to use some uh, potions to heal up. That's fine. Alright, now we got Ant-Man. As long as Ant-Man has an armor up, he will um, trigger the node and I'll take bleed damage. Corvus does not work well here. I had to learn that the hard way. Corvus will bleed out on this node fighting Ant-Man, okay? The only way to deal with this is to try to prevent his armor ups, which is why I'm going in once again with uh, Gladiator. But just look at how Gladiator is just taking all these fights. You know, even though Corvus is just 
you know, Billy Bad Butt. Look at this. As long as I have that um, uh, vigilance, I'm good. And I'm, I'm still doing some damage to him. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. So if you guys missed that, I fired the special one, right? He blocked it. But after the special one, I am unstoppable. And so he tried to attack me, and I just gave him a nice little five piece. Gladiator ain't no joke. If you guys don't know, now you know. All right, so this fight here, I was like, okay, I gotta get this uh, block or, or something, you know, the evade or something. There we go, there's the auto block right there. So now I just need to knock him down. And there we go. Now, I was worried about this, which is why I did a second one, because I saw that I glanced. And I was like, wait, did the glancing count? And then I did it again, and then I looked up, and I was like, oh. See, I got, I, I'm doing this because I was like, did I get the charge? And I was like, oh, wait, yeah, I did get the charge. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then we finished the fight. Because I was like, wait, I didn't have any charges. So, so that charge up there, that's the charge. Okay, good. Now I have two charges because I defeated a tech champion. So I was like, okay, good. Because I was remembering that I was going to take Corvus in before and didn't remember that I hadn't. All right, now, check this out. Look at this. First time you're going to see me do this, and probably the last time, okay? I went ahead and did that. Now, I didn't have to use units. I was kicking myself later because there is one available for loyalty that I had never purchased. And I remembered seeing it, and I'm like, wait, where is it? And so after this war, I went and purchased that one for loyalty, and it's like, 14 days, something like that, uh, cooldown. I'm like, okay, because I was hoping that it was a shorter cooldown and I could stock up on those. And then I might be able to save, and I see why they did it, because that saves me a lot. I can now finish all of my fights on one set of boosts. And so that saves me from having to use some of those more you know, expensive boosts, more, more of the rarer boosts, you know? And so, yeah, I can see why they, they don't want that cooldown to be uh, less. But here we go. It's because I have True Strike, she ain't, she, ain't, she ain't got nothing. There ain't no way. All right? So here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Just, just chewing her down. Chewing her down. Yep, yep. Look at that. Auto block fail. And then we go. Bam! And that's it. Penny Parker is down. So Corvus didn't get a lot of fights. He had only two fights. Gladiator actually had more fights. But with those two powerhouses on my team, I can usually handle my path and, and some of the minis. All right. We'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Like I said in the uh, last video, we we seem to lose when we go to tier two, and then we win at uh, tier three. And uh, we we got them pretty well here. But I don't know. I I, I like tier three, to be honest with you, uh, because of course I can use Corvus. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.